In the month of Nigeria's 60th anniversary in 2020, young people from across the board hit the streets to demand an end to police brutality with a specific call for the disbandment of the special anti robbery squad SARS, accused of perpetrating atrocities including extrajudicial killings. A movement triggered from an incident in Delta State after a young man was arrested, shot and left for dead allegedly by members of SARS, although the facts were disputed by the Minister of State for Labor, Festus Kayamo, in a tweet in which he said the boy was alive. Like wildfire, the protests that greeted the worry incident spread to other parts of the country with youths at the vanguard. It was a defining October as protesters in Lagos took things a notch higher with daily convergence on the Lekki toll gate and other locations calling for the implementation of what they termed five for five. Demanding for the release of arrested protesters, justice for victims of police brutality, prosecution of erring police officers, retraining of former SAS members, and an increase in the salary of police officers. Not too long, the then Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, disbanded SARS. As a responsive and citizen-oriented police force, it is hereby directed as follows. One, the Special Anti-Robbery Squad of the Nigeria Police, otherwise known as SARS, is hereby dissolved across all formations, the 36 state police commands, and the Federal Capital Territory, where they currently exist. And back in Lagos, the state government appealed to the protesters to disperse to enable it look into their demands. But the protesters, including some celebrities, refused to back down until they saw action. This was the rise of the Sorosoki movement. For me, I will say it, the government messed with the wrong generation. Yeah. So, so let me ask you. What do you want? What do you want? What's your what's the what's the prayer here right now? Five. Because we're fine. Yeah, but the government is already responding to that. How many times have they responded? We need action. We need action. We're gonna be here until we start seeing action. On the night of October 20th, 2020, with protesters defined and imposed curfew, things turned sour. After soldiers invaded the Lekki Togate to disperse the protesters, leading to casualty that became a subject of controversy till today. The fallout was outrage, condemnation and even carnage as hoodlums cashed in on the situation took to the streets to destroy and loot. Even police stations and officers were not spared. To consider the demands by the protesters, judicial panels on restitution for victims of SARS-related abuses and other matters were set up to bring closure and recommendations were made to the state governments. And so far, some persons have been awarded various forms of compensation. Two years after, on the second anniversary of the NSAS protest, there are still unanswered questions. Have all the protesters been released? Has police brutality truly stopped? How many erring police officers have faced justice? Have the youths been truly pacified? Jeffrey Uzongong, Channels Television News.